Hello everyone. Um, today, well, this is Ambi. Today we will talk about another PowerShell topic that will be data types. Let us explore data types. What are some of the most used data types which are useful for especially those who are writing scripts, who are doing day-to-day -day maintenance of their ID, IT infrastructure. For them, it will be Kind of extremely useful there are a lot of other data types though which we may uh, which we may not have to learn now but in future when you want to if you have explored these data types then grasping them will be nothing first one i want to check a string no no okay let's check the fun part first i will say car this is a data type, yes. Zero x two six three a. It's a cute smiley. Cute smiley. Okay, the smiley is so bright that it became a star. So it's emoticons, right? So it's characters. If you want to include them in your script for some reason, yeah, go ahead. Then we have. String. Uh, what is string? A equals M B. Then I will say A dot data type. Mm -hmm. No, get type. Sorry. Okay. And uh, if you wanna get the full description of the data type, or you wanna just type that is name, just this value. That if that's what you want, put a dot there. Hit enter. Mm hmm okay string then okay let us let another one one two three four what is this here get type this is an integer 32 bit integer what if we want 64 bit five six seven eight nine ten ten then b dot get a get type that is a 64 bit integer then let us have a look at other one a equals 1.2 oops a equals 1.2 in other languages you might know it as float but here we have a different representation it's called double you have a single as well not exactly the same as you might see in python or javascript but similar you get the point let us look at array mm, what is an array let us define it and we will um, this is how an array should be defined this is how a hash table should be designed uh, should be denoted or represented parenthesis curly braces please do remember for our purpose, what we want to do, we want to right now do this. This is our array. So get type. What is this? System dot array. Hmm. Hmm, let's put some values there. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever, seven, eight, 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 get type. But get type okay it's an array let's say i want to access some values from it a zero the first value a one that is second so it count the countdown starts from zero however minus one and we will look at arrays in detail later but now now let's jump to another way of representing array the okay seven what happened well it is an array a dot get type it is also an array even though you are supposed to represent an array like this when you type like this powershell assumes that okay either you are in a hurry 
Are you forgot to type this at symbol and parenthesis? And it translates it into an array. So PowerShell is very forgiving when it comes to this. You can skip certain things. PowerShell will assume that okay, so this my this is what he might meant. So let's consider that and move on. That is what it does. It assumes, unlike C and other Blue 11 languages. So A equals, oh, let's move on to hash. Hash is like your Python's dictionary. If you are from Python background. So why am I saying a dictionary? Okay, I will tell you why. Mm, well, let's define it. Let's, let's say Batman is, Batman's real name is Bruce Wayne Superman Clark Kent. Now I will type a name value. I'll type a dot keys to get the keys here. A dot value to get the values. What if I want to add a key value? Let's say a dot flash equals Barry Allen. A. We added. What if you want to update value? Let's say Cherry Allen. Now we have three. What if I want to remove it because I didn't want it to be? I, I don't want. The, I don't want Flash. Say Flash is retiring. You dot remove. that work now because we have to pass it on as a string right so that is how you deal with hash table these will be useful for you where you construct a hash table and loop through the entire list and take some action that is all we had for data types in PowerShell. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great one.